Hey guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, we will be deploying our Resume Expert site using Render. Watch this site tutorial on this YouTube channel. Now, before deploying, let me show you this site first. Now, as you can see, navbar on top with icon on left and button on right side. Then we have a banner section having text on left and SVG image on right. Then comes our why choose a section with three cards having hover effect. Then a start section when click on button it will show you a login model. You can sign up to create new account as previously we have logged in so let me log in with the same credentials. After login, you will be redirect to our dashboard page. You can create new resume here. Give title to get started. You can fill details. Download it as a PDF, change theme, also you can delete any resume, it will show you a toast, you can make changes and save it. So now open a new tab and search render click on the first link then click on get started now after this create account using google now after this first let's go to our vs code now here go to source control panel and here publish it to github so we need to first publish our repository. You can give your name here, select type that is private or public and publish it. So now for publishing, it will take some time. So now it shows publishing branch and it will show this message here. Then after this, go back to your Chrome and search for GitHub. Now after this, in github search for resume and now as you can see our repository is created here so now let me add new click on add new button and click on web services in web services click on here credentials and click on extra candidate services and configure in github so we have to give access to that repository here so that we can host it click on select repository and here search it resume so here select this build resume and click save so now it will give access to your that that repository now after this click on this give underscore backend and now after this in root directory type backend for build command give npm install and for start it is node server.js so it will start our server then click on free here we have to upload our env file that is the environment variable file to so choose a file here in backend select the env file and click add variables now after this click on deploy web services so now it will take some time to deploy it so this is your backend url that we will be using so let's copy it for now and it will show you the status that it's building so now it will take some time here it will show build successful here then after this it will show deploying and it will show running node server.js and it will show server started and db connected so now copy this and paste it here in your new tab refresh it and it will show that api working and it will show status will be live 
so now after copying it go to your vs code and in utils api path just change this base url with the backend url you have just hosted now commit it as backend url or just backend url update it and click commit now click on sync changes then after this now after this go back here and now here just click on new click on static site and after this again select it build resume click type here underscore front end as we are gonna host the front end after this in root directory type front end and for build command it will be npm install and npm run build for creating our dist folder and publish directory will have that dist folder as we don't have any .env files so click on deploy static site so now it will again take some time so this will be our front end url so copy it now for this time then after this it will show you the status that is it is building so again it will take some time so it will show you uploading build as status then it will show your site is live so now let's copy that and paste it here what okay so it showing the status is building let me show it that it's live so the status turns to live then we refresh it so our site is deployed using render then after this go back there and click on redirect and rewrites here add a rule so that whenever we re refresh the site it will be refresh so it will not show any error when we refresh our site so save it and after this copy it again and in your backend go to server.js and give access to that so that it can upload that as an image here so here just again commit it as front end url added so now sync changes after committing so let's close this here now after this go back to your chrome and here in this go to build underscore backend now it will show you the status that is just all auto deploying the front end url added so open it so open it click on this deploy button to open it now it will show you that the task is in progress status and again it will show build successful and it is deploying now it will show status running ser node server.js and db connected and it will show your site is live so again after this refresh it and now let me click on get started and log in it with the same credential we have just log in earlier in this video so let me give this password here and click sign in so it is working fine here now let me create a new resume that is test after this in full name type here anything you want so i will type test after deploying or deployment and click save and exit now after this it will show you this toast you can delete it here click delete and it will show you again a po toast you can log out or just let me show you on a new chrome the functionality that is here let me just copy this front end url from here and now let me paste it on this chrome here here once i create a new account you will see that it will 
it won't have that uh, resume as a particular id can has his can see his or her own resume only so now, now let me create a new account here so after creating as you can see here there is no resume whereas we have a resume for the hexa id so this is all stay tuned for more and thanks for watching